I'm terrible. That was only about 10 yards. The rabbit gave me two shots. <laughs> Time to go collect arrows. My name is Roland Guerra, and I'm from McAllen, Texas. McAllen's a city in South Texas, down by the border of Mexico. It's where I live, it's where I work, and it's where I raise my family. But come fall, you'll find me at my ranch, near Laredo, hunting whitetails and boars with stick and string. This is my first deer with a longbow. This is actually done at my ranch. Uh, this deer gave me a 20-yard shot, uh, slightly cornered away. Uh, anybody who's hunted in Texas know how wary our deer are and how quickly they can jump the string and this is certainly one of those times. Well I got my first deer with a longbow, uh, nice doe, uh, had a 20 yard shot slightly cornered away, she ducked the string big time arrow looked like it was going where it's supposed to go um, ended up hitting her in the spine but she went down right away so here she is uh, first deer with my longbow I've got a 51 pound wire longbow this is actually my second shot on an animal so I'm two for two she was a uh, 20 yards slightly cornered away jumped the string so I, I hit her a little high but she went down right away now all you guys who have taken your first traditional buck with traditional gear know exactly how I'm feeling on this next hunt. This is my first buck taken with a longbow and to say that I was excited is, is really an understatement. First buck with a longbow. Yeah, the rut just started. Um, saw him come out to the left about 50 yards. Made his way all the way down to about oh, about 20 yards. And uh, looks like I put a shot right on the money. He ran about 60 yards and saw him go down.
is the cedar arrow. Well, broke off at about seven inches. Management butt. First one with a longbow. Perfect, eight. Beautiful brows. Five, six year old buck. Exactly what we want to take on a ranch like this. And for me to do it with a longbow and the first one, first buck with a bow, is really one of the greatest days out in the field for me. Oh, right there, right there. Carp, the carp, carp, shoot him low. Carp yeah, you got him, you got him. Oh, nice, Tom. Oh, that's 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 Go ahead. Yeah. Oh. Hey, fish. Oh, yeah, look at that. Who awesome. shot that? Man. Right? Oh, Tom, Ox, excellent. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, you're good. You're good. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Got it. I forgot my camera. Nice. I got mine in my backpack. Oh. No. Nice. nice. Right. Jump on down there, Tommy boy. Oh, look at there, guys. Right, right, right here, right here. I'm on her. You guys got it on film? Yep. Good no. shot. Right. Good shot. Oh, there you go. All right, oh, it's a buff. Nice. Come on, come on. Slow? Yep. Come on back here, bro. Come on back. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, I broken leg. Take it easy. Take it easy. Get her in? Hold that ball. Here, here, here. Right, I got it. Go, 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 go. I got it. I can multitask. Yeah. See, push there all the way through. Or not. <laughs> nice. That's a fast. What's that, a buffalo? Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, she take you under the trawler? She took you under the trawler. She wrap you up? Not anymore. There you go. Boy, that's a big Jeez. When you got there, Tom, say something. What's that? Is that a buffalo? Uh, that's a buffalo. Buffalo curve? Yeah, that's a chunk of fish, isn't it? What's that? Probably 20 pounds or uh, something? At least. That the, the tonka? Yeah. Yep. She's probably 25, that's 26 like, pounds. That's a girl I used to go with. This fish is turning the boat. Whoa! Big old fish, dude. <laughs> Gosh, excuse me. Oh, good night. Look at the size of that thing. Now this next scene finds us at the peak of the South Texas rut. This is December 15th. And if you could give me a week to hunt, it would be the week of December 10th to about the 18th. That's when the big boys are out there chasing the first does that go into the estra cycle. I got him, I got the 10 I was after. He's a great five and a half year old buck. Uh, gave me a perfect opportunity, I couldn't pass it up with my longbow. Uh, this is uh, my second buck, my second season with a longbow. And uh, I drilled him, put a good shot, saw him go down, probably went about a good 60 yards. And uh, perfect lung shot, went down right away. Let's go get him. Yeah. Woo. Oh man, look at this guy. 
Oh, what a beautiful 10 point buck. Woo, got him. This is the beautiful five and a half year old 10 pointer. We're here in South Texas. The rut just pretty much the prime of the rut, middle of the week right now. I'd like to thank my wife for letting me come out during the week. I knew that uh, I needed to be out here to capitalize on a, on a running buck just like this. Lots of disclaimers today. The scene here finds me at my deer lease on a Friday afternoon chasing after a management buck. This is my second buck with the longbow this year. This is a, a great nine point four and a half year old management buck. Uh, I actually shot him yesterday evening, 20 yards. I drew back, I was committed to a spot. I didn't realize he had slightly turned a little bit, quartering towards me. And consequently, I ended hit him up, hitting him a little bit further back than I'd like to. On the last weekend of South Texas deer season, and I've got one buck tag left. And this is what happens. This is a nine point. This is a buck that I've seen since he was a three year old. I call him squiggly because of these squiggly brows. He's had them since he was young, although not as thick. We had a good rainy season this year and he grew pretty good. I hunted him most of the season and never did get an opportunity. Never did see him live. I would catch him on my, on my field cameras, but never did catch him live. But finally, last Saturday, last weekend, about 17 yard shot, hit him a little high ended up spining him. I don't know if he jumped the string or what. I was pretty nervous. In any case, he didn't go far. And I couldn't be more pleased. Deer, aren't they? 